like my voice? Uh, I'll be like my voice. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh wow. that was good. Safety, safety, safety. That was not nice, good. Oh, shit. Thank you, Timmy. Of course, of course, of course. I hope you got that. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're coming to you from the BBIs. And we're about to launch a foil kite from a catamaran. We've never done this before, so it's uh, going to be interesting. I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get that on camera? <laughs> okay. It's a big um, mistake. <laughs> line should be good because I double checked them before. Okay. Yuri was the first to launch a foil kite from the catamaran. Obviously, we knew we had to pre-inflate the kite before placing it in the water. We had watched a few YouTube videos of foil kites launching from a boat. However, these videos weren't instructional. They just showed the launch without explanation. This meant we were in for some trial and error. It didn't help that it started to rain in the middle of our first boat launch, which caused the kite to take on additional water. Yuri took his time to drain the water from the kite and then brought it up without issue. It's our first official day of kiteboarding in the BBIs. We are in Richard Branson's backyard. That's his place up here on Mosquito Island and Necker Island is just the other way. It's a beautiful day. We've got great conditions, about 15 knots. So we were able to successfully launch two foil kites off the boat. And by we, I mean Yuri. <laughs> I have not tried it yet. Um, it looks a little bit sketchy, but yeah. We, uh, we had one moment where 15 meter ended up on the mast of the boat. Um, Farzad took the 15 from Yuri and attempted to jump off the back of the boat, but a gust hit and basically the kite ended up on the mast, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, the good thing is that there was no damage to the kite, it's just a big bunch of spaghetti lines at the moment. The moral of the story is that shit happens from time to time. It doesn't matter if you fly a foil kite or LEI, expect for things to go wrong here and there. For instance, during the first tube kite launch from the boat, the wind turned the kite before the lines were fully unwrapped. Thankfully, the kite was attached to a safety line. We attempted to grab a steering line and drag the kite to us, but the pull was so powerful that the bar broke apart and the kite flew away. We were able to retrieve the kite later by digging. You got one thing that can go wrong on a boat launch? <laughs> on our first day here, Yuri successfully launched a few kites, so I was confident enough to give it a shot myself. However, when we put the kite in the water, it immediately flipped over, making the launch much more difficult. In fact, it didn't happen at all. Attempt number two. Hopefully we've learned from our mistakes and we have a more successful launch. Launching the 15th Sol, it's pretty light wind. 11.5 knots right now. Yeah, it'll be interesting. <laughs> much better with the 15 meter sole because we gently laid it down and followed the steps and it smoothly went up, no issue at all. So without further ado, here are five steps for launching a foil kite from a catamaran. So step number one is to make sure that your kite and your bar are completely free of any tangles because it's next to impossible to untangle lines from the boat. 
You'll want to unwrap your bar a little bit so you have some slack in your lines and then you'll open up the kite across the stern of the boat. It's important to have two people so one person holds each side and to pre-inflate the kite. This is especially important for light wind conditions. Once the kite is sufficiently pre-inflated, gently lay it down on its back and let it drift downwind as you unwrap the lines and attach your bar. It's important to make sure your kite is laying on its back with the trailing edge closer to you. It will be much more difficult to launch if the kite is the other way. This is also a good time to get your board on your feet so you're ready for launch. Once all the slack is gone, hot launch the kite and send it either way to get going. If by chance your kite does flip over while you're attempting to launch, it will most likely fill with water, in which case when you launch, you'll just wanna hold it at a 90 degree angle so that all the water drains out and then you bring it up. I've actually found so far that launching isn't the trickiest part, it's switching over the kite. One of the biggest disadvantages of a foil kite on a catamaran is that you cannot park it on the side of the window like you can with an LEI. It just doesn't work, so you're left with one option if you wanna switch the kite, and that's to keep the kite at 12 o'clock just meters downwind from the boat mast. We managed dozens of successful switches this way, and for the most part, they went smoothly. One thing to keep in mind though, is that foil kites can overfly in gusty conditions, and this is exactly what happened during one of our switches. The wind shifted direction and was blowing from behind the island, which resulted in severe turbulence. The kite overflew and it looked like it was going to end up directly on the mast. We pulled safety, which luckily caused the wind to carry the kite free and clear of the mast, but it was definitely a close call. Another disadvantage of the foil kite on the catamaran is that landing it is not as simple as it is with an LEI. Uh, so far we've had pretty good luck with putting the kite down in the water and wrapping the lines up. Of course the kite does get quite wet that way and it's, it can be a little bit tricky to uh, bring in the lines without getting anything tangled. If you do happen to tangle your lines when you're landing the kite, really the best option is to get on the dinghy, go to shore, and straighten out your lines. Unfortunately, it's just not easy to do it from the boat. Now, I know you may be thinking it's just way too much hassle to bring a foil kite on a catamaran for all of these reasons, but if that's what you prefer to fly, like we do, I think it's worth it. You just have to take your time, be careful with your lines and your kite packing and rolling them up, and you should be good to go. So there you have it, how we launch, switch, and land foil kites from the catamaran. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.